The, the key uh, principles around uh, health and wellbeing um, are really important to us, not just as a housing provider, but as a community housing group. And so our values very much line up with the, the, the five key um, values around Project 5. So we want people uh, who are living in our homes to, um, to be connected. Uh, we want them to feel that there's still more to learn in life. It's given people a real opportunity and a chance to, to come out of their, their homes and to do something and to meet with other people while they're learning a new skill. Um, and obviously that helps with mental well-being. And, and we're all about creating good mental health. Well, you meet all the people and we sit down and we have a chat and a cup of tea and it's the camaraderie. And you, as you say, otherwise you're in your flat and you're on your own. But it's lovely to come out and we talk about everything under the sun besides computers. And this is what it's all about. When you're with people, life is a lot easier and more complete. The, the friendliness is, is coming back into the, into, into the whole of the, the, the site, really, because people that haven't bothered for a while are sort of coming back into it and mixing with us all and, you know, and sort of getting more as a, a group, friendly, you know. It's like my brain is starting to work better again, definitely. Um, I'm thinking more rather than just sitting back in a corner and doing nothing, but nowadays you are thinking more. This is what I feel anyway. Well, basically, it's a bit of company, you know. I lost, like I say, I lost a wife two years ago yesterday, you know, and it's something that gets you out of the house and you can just have a little chat and whatever when, when you're on the computer and after, you know, and you, like you say, you have a cup of tea and a, a little chin you know, with that, everybody else, you know. I mean, the thing is, if, if I wasn't over here, basically, I'd be sat in the house just watching the telly or thinking of what I can do next, you know. So it, at least it gives you something to, to look forward to, you know. Well, it's something to do rather than sitting in the flat, even though I can't get my head around it. it it's just something that... Well, I never really wanted to do it, but it was coming over here for company and that. So, you know, it's, it works both ways. Can you tell me what you've learned? Nothing. I'm still on page one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it makes me feel good. It really makes me feel good. But it, it is rewarding. And you're talking to other people as well, which is... Uh, a big thing when you're living on your own and oh, wonderful. A volunteer's name is Nancy. She's very, very, very helpful, very caring and sort of loving. You could, you know, cut your legs. Maybe I shouldn't say that. But uh, yes, yeah, she's very, very affectionate in that respect. When they come in and do these things to help us, we appreciate what people are doing for us and and that we could do with a lot more help really but as i say we are we are appreciative of what we have got the activities i find um you you sit around the table and you talk people tell you their problems and we tell our problems and you get that relief that you haven't got it all inside you on your, on your own. You've got someone you can talk to. You've got to think of what is in the future because we've got it here, every bit of it. And I would never move from you. Um, yeah, the, the, the volunteers, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're really helpful and they've, they've helped a lot. And uh, I hope the volunteers keep coming. And, um, you know, because the last couple of weeks have been really good. So with the Project 5, um, we've been involved with the reflexology. Andrew's been having it on his hands and because um, he's got MS and his hands have clenched, have, have gripped. So Nancy's been massaging his fingers and stretching them. So he's found, a, a, we've noticed a very big difference over the, over the weeks that he's been having it done. So it's been very, very beneficial for him, hasn't it? Yeah. They're very friendly and, and he, he, he talks, you know, when Nancy's doing the, you know, he, he opens, he talks to her and everything. It's really nice because he's really relaxed and it's nice to see that, yeah. 
I was very, very depressed when I came here because I, I don't mix with people. And it's only this year the person that does the crafts kept getting hold of me when she saw me and said to me, why don't you come to the craft? And so I started going and my health and everything. I've been a lot better since I've started mixing with the people because of the craft. And I'm a lot better now than what I was when I first came here. So I find it very, very good for my fingers. For my mind, I find it excellent. It, it keeps me going, even if I laugh about what I've made afterwards. Uh, on a Thursday, we go up to uh, have a cup of tea, and the uh, volunteers, they come up and they chat to us. Well, I, I get to know the, the names now. Well, and the children's names. And, uh, you know, I find it well, comforting somehow and, you know, you know nice to, for someone to be as nice as they are to be like, you know. And, you know, they can't do enough for you. They, you know, they're wonderful people. It's the process of coming together, of learning something new, of interacting, um, of having a chat with people, of using the grey cells and all of those things um, that, that, that I think has actually benefited uh, a lot of people. And, and it's benefited our staff as well who are, who are working with the uh, Project 5 team. So, so all in all for us, it's been an incredibly positive experience so far. We would like to carry on the partnership with Project 5 to roll it out across our sheltered housing schemes to bring people in and bring the public in to, to, to actually benefit from the, the, the great structure of the scheme and to make sure that there's continued funding there to impact on as many people's lives as possible, to get people involved in volunteering, to get people engaged in activities, to keep learning and to keep giving back.